Hello folks, again we have a question of uh, question number 7 of 2018 uh, paper 2-3 October November which is the most recent questions here so the first question uh, says that uh, 7a it says state cursor's first law so I think uh, it is uh, uh, evident for all it is the sum of the currents in the node incoming current equal to outgoing current and so on so let's not focus on that my main focus is on solving the uh, subsequent problems so it says that a potentiometer is connected to a battery of uh, electromotive force 9.6 volt and uh, negligible inter resistance so we don't have to consider the internal resistance the maximum resistance of the potentiometer is 800 ohm so that means uh, if uh, a current flows through the whole potentiometer uh, the resistance is 800 ohm a resistor r of resistance 400 ohm is uh, connected between the slider slider and nx of the potentiometer so slider and nx of the potentiometer so we have to state the pd across the resistor when the slider is positioned at end x first so if i position this slider over here over here or over let us see over here so uh, what happens here is the resistance here enclosed is enclosed enclosed is zero so since the resistance is zero then uh, the pd then what happens is what happens is the pd across this thing should also be zero zero resistance means zero pd so it should be zero volt and when it is at end y here end end y end y now what happens here is uh, the connection of uh, this resistor is from here to here here means this point because of no resistor here and here means this point so it is like uh, connecting the uh, the uh, meter or the device across the ends of the cell so it should be equal to 9.6 volts so here 0 volt because of no resistor and here it is 9.6 because it is connecting across the right across the source 9.6 volt now the next question says that calculate the potential difference across resistor r resistor r when the slider is positioned slider is positioned position 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 halfway between x and y so if i connect it here halfway halfway we have to find the pd here so when i connect this halfway the resistance here will be equal to will be equal to equal to equal to half of this is 400 ohm and here it is again 400 ohm so 400 here and 400 here now the circuit will, will look somewhat like this so let me redraw the circuit here if i redraw here it will be like this this is a 400 ohm this is a 400 ohm ohm and then 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 this is a 400 ohm so it is a 400 400 and then 400 so this is r as well so now we have to find the pd pd across across here across here in the answer so what happens is this is 9.6 volt so first of all we have to find the total resistance posed by this thing and then the current so the total resistance from here to here so let us say this is a and this is b so we have r a b is equal to is equal to parallel of 2400 so 400 parallel 400 that's equal to 200 ohm the total uh, so if it is so then 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 what you have is so therefore v a b should be equal to is equal to let me do like this so it is r a b divided by divided by total r so r total total into e which is 9.6 volt this is the regular voltage divider formula so equal to this r a b is equal to 200 and the r total is equal to this is 200 and this is 400 so it is 200 plus 400 uh, into 9.6 that's equal to 200 by 600 into 9.6 so this three za so three uh three za and two za so it is is equal to 3.2 volts so 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 the the potential difference 
uh, across the resistor R when it is halfway is equal to equal to 3.2 volts. So this is the correct answer.